Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, July 14th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I've heard boxers compare being a world champion to living in a fishbowl. Once you're the star of the show, all eyes are on you, which leaves you with two options. Either you thrive under the pressure and the attention makes you grow stronger, or in the end, it weighs you down and you sink to the bottom. And based on the way Chris Bumps has responded so far, I'd say he'd definitely be the former rather than the latter. With his first title of defense less than five months away now, all eyes are pointed directly at Chris inside the fishbowl that is the classic physique division. But if everything we've seen so far tells us anything, my guess would be that he responds to the pressure and embraces the moment because that's what true champions always do. On the other end of the spectrum, you have a guy like George Peterson, who's in a completely different bowl altogether and is completely different situation. Heading into his 212 debut, George has a lot of pressure stacked on his shoulders because you have people out there already anointing him as the next champion of the 212 division before he's even competed in a single contest. That's why Tampa feels like the ultimate fishbowl experience for George. If he wins, now all eyes are really on him heading down the stretch into the Olympia. But if he doesn't, people will be ready to leave him for dead as just another athlete who couldn't take the pressure when it was time to sink or swim. If there's no business like show business, in some ways that makes a guy like Akeem Williams a main attraction. Last year was huge for Akeem in the sense that he finally solidified himself as someone who belonged in the conversation with some of the other elite athletes in the open division. And his earning of a top 10 Olympia finish was the real icing on the cake. Cracking the top 10 in that lineup was the equivalent of him landing his first role as a leading man in a Hollywood blockbuster. But now that he is expecting to be up there and everyone is looking in his direction, it'll be interesting to see if he can be one of the rare few who makes the sequel better than the original. In sports, life, business, and pretty much anything else, timing is everything. Only you don't realize that until you start to get a little older and wiser. So when someone who's been around as long as Dexter Jackson starts to look at how the pieces are falling into place, what he's really looking for is when it's time for him to make his next move. At the start of the year, Dexter went on the record to say that he was planning to retire after this year's Olympia. But recently I caught wind of a rumor that the future Hall of Famer was actively considering whether or not now was the right time for him to hang it up. Considering everything that happened this year, I'm sure Dexter didn't imagine having COVID-19 as the backdrop to the narrative of his final season. And since it still feels like he has some, well, tread left in the tires, I wouldn't be shocked if he decided to give it one more run and make 2021 the final chapter of his historic career. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.